العزة آية الرياضة آية السلوك لله تعالى العظيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you said this is a continuation of two lectures before it's not lecture but it's advice and it is it is realities that awliyaullah have explained it they have explained it to us through their lives and still they are through our Sultan Awliya, our Sheikh Sheikh Muhammad Nazim Al Haqqani, um, our Grand Sheikh and Grand Grand Sheikh, that these realities and these knowledges are coming slowly, slowly and appearing. Is not a, a fountain? When you turn a fountain, if there is no water in the pipe, there is no water coming to the tap. Many today, their pipes are coming from the reservoir through the pipes, through the tap. Many now have no water coming in because there is a defect in the pipe. Because the water is there. Realities are there. Heavenly presence is there. Divine knowledge is there. But it is in its heavenly place. If you don't have a system to bring it, or the pipe is broken, or the heart is not working, or your mind is not understanding, then it doesn't come. So what we need, we need someone that Allah gave him authority in order to extract these knowledges and give you a, even a drop in a desert is enough to squinch your thirst. One time, one king, Harun Rashid, king of, at that time, of Baghdad, what's known today, Iraq, went with his soldiers hunting in the desert. And in the desert, they lost their way. Allah wants them to lose their way in order to teach them a lesson. No more water with them. Very thirsty because when they go to desert, they go for days and days. They don't come more, go morning, come evening. It's not an easy trip. Like today, you fly morning, come evening. You have to go on horses, sometime on mules, sometime like me and you. Donkey, if we found donkey, we don't walk it. So they lost their way in the desert and they don't know where they were going. So the Harun Rashid was so thirsty, wants to drink, there is no water. His people very, very thirsty, and suddenly. They saw a house, like a house, mud, bushes, made in a nice place in this desert. They look at it, they were very happy. They approach and the man, the soldier, knocked the door. And an old lady came. And she said, 
what you want. He said, the king is thirsty and we don't have water. We don't have water for us to drink. She said, I have water, but not for you to drink. If the king wants, let the king come here. He is in need for me, I am not in need for him. You come. Today, you are not in need for a... for a... president. President needs you. If you don't elect him, can he be president? No. So who needs who? <coughs> so president needs the citizens or the citizens need the president? President needs the citizen. President needs the citizen. If there is no citizen, he will be alone in the desert yeah. or in the jungle. What he will do? He needs the votes of the citizen to bring him a president. Yeah. So he is, he has to thank the citizens, not to look after himself and forget the citizens. Today, presidents or leaders or important people, they think that people are in need for them. It's not true. They are breaking the law. They are in need for the people. Prophets, they are in need for their nations. If there is no nation, why he has to be prophet? Yeah. A messenger of Allah, of God, messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a prophet. He needs a, a human beings with him. As Grand Sheikh said, may Allah bless his soul, he said, Every prophet in need for his ummah, of his nation, or else, well, what he wants to do? Yeah. Sit by himself in the corner? He has the message to deliver, so he needs people to come. So she said, he, the king, is in need for me. Now I'm not in need for him. He wants water, let him come here. So Harun Rashid came and he said, I want, can I have water? Look, she brought him from his high level all the way, cutting his ego down. Today, a, an important person, he will never accept you cut his ego down. Sayyidina Umar, Khalifa of Prophet, radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa arda, hired someone to remind him every morning when he goes from his house and every evening when he comes to his house that, Ya Umar, O oh Umar, don't forget death. Don't forget the grave when they are going to die. That's his job, nothing else. Yeah. One day, after many years, yeah. Sayyidina Amr said to him, I don't need you anymore. Mm -hmm. He laid him, out, uh, laid him off. Today they laid too many people off. Yeah. That man said, Ya Amr, what I did? I did something wrong? He said, no, no, no. You did everything, every, the best. But today I have... I hired you to remind me, but today I have someone that reminding me not only when I come to the house or I go from the house in every moment in my life. Mm -hmm. So what is that? An angel? He said, no, I have a white hair in my beard yeah. telling me that death is coming. Mm -hmm. huh? 
what we have prepared for that day. People are busy today. This one is running this way, this one is running. You don't see two people running in the same way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone has a way. SubhanAllah. Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How everyone thinks differently. If you look computer. All computer the same, they think the same. They they have a program, they follow program. Yeah. But a human being, everyone has a different program. No two programs the same. Impossible. Yeah. Who did, who gave that? Who did that? Must be a must be someone that Great, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Al Azamatu Lillah. Greatness is for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He is the Creator. He can say be, and it is there. Huh? So that Harun Rashid, we say to people today, they say, Mother Earth. Yeah. It is an Islamic symbol. Because in, in, in Islamic interpretation, the, uh, the earth represents a lady. The, the earth is being represented by a woman. Because it carries the human nature, it carries uh, human beings, it carries animals, it carries it from it, from within it they come, it carries. Uh, trees, it carries water, it carries birds, fish, everything. Feminine. Feminine is a mother. Yeah. So that lady in the desert was represent, symbolize the earth. Mm -hmm. She said, Ya Harun, no king. In the desert, there is no king. <laughs> You have to know your limits, or you die. You are thirsty. Ya Harun, I need a price for my water that I want to give to you. He said, anything you want, I want to drink, I am thirsty. I, she said, do you replace this cup of water with your kingdom? So what do you expect, he will say? Of course. Yeah. He wants to drink, and his people want to drink, or else if she doesn't give him water, he's going to die. What is the words of the kingdom? Yeah. He said, I will. She said, your, you and your kingdom doesn't worth more than this cup of water. This is more valuable than you and your kingdom. Mm. She gave the water. So, Allah, if that pipe is broken, you don't get that water to flow through, to come to you. That's why too many people today, they call for imaginary, imaginary realities, not real. It's Hollywood realities. What is Hollywood realities? Zero. Illusion. Illusions. They think something and they think it's true today. People, they speak about spiritualities or about real. No one is seeing. They are inventing it, innovating it. That's why Allah's words are so strong that that you can see the value the 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 value in it like you find a diamond and in, on the other side you have a pebble which is more important diamond pebble what to do with it nothing you step on it diamond do you step on it 
clean it every day. You look at it. It is big. You look at it, clean it, <laughs> put it back. Next day, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Who throw diamond? You might throw your wife and you don't throw the diamond. <laughs> Or the wife might throw the husband and you do not throw the husband. Yeah. Yeah. But your wife will not throw you, don't worry. So in the midst of that reality, Allah asked, after he dressed his Prophet وسلم, with all these lights that we have explained in the previous session, and he asked him, he taught him from his ancient world, that's why he said, Ar Rahman, Allah Mar Quran. The merciful, from his out of his mercy, he taught. Holy Quran to Prophet means before a cre before any creation. Then he say Khalaq created a human being. What Allah taught Prophet, you know, no one knows why you were present. No one was present. What Allah gave to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, no one knows except Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And what Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave his followers, his Sahaba and the Ummah, is a drop of that knowledge. Why? Because this will explain to us this reality will explain to us where we stand, what Prophet in reality gave a drop. And that drop for us is like an ocean. If you add all books together and everyone what he wrote or what he said from beginning to end be like oceans of knowledge. It's like a drop from that ocean that Prophet gave to humanity. He has the ocean, he gave a drop. That drop became ocean. And what we are getting is a drop of that small ocean. So he asked him the question, who are you and who am I? And he said that. He said, you are the subduer, I am your weak servant. SubhanAllah. You Ant al-Qahar, he, re he realized the reality. He said, you are the subduer, you are the great, you are the al-azim, al-kabir, al-akbar. You are the biggest, you are the highest, you are the greatest. There is no above, no, no, no definition that can express your divinely uh, essence. No, no way. So then what is me is nothing. I am I'm compared to that is zero. So then I am your servant that weak or disabled. Prophet can say, but we cannot say that. But we are saying what he said. To us, Prophet وسلم, is the greatest in creation. He is the creation to us. Allah created him, within him the creation came. From within him. And then, when he answered that, ثم قال تعالى عز وجل ما معنى القهار وما معنى العبد 
What is the meaning? What you understand with the meaning of the subdure? What you understand? And what do you understand the meaning of a servant? Apt. Yeah. So what is what you understand? You kahar subdure force ever anything that under him snatch everything. Yeah. A subduer means everything become shattered when he wants. Yeah. As for what the meaning, what you understand with it? He said, with the power of heavenly vision that has been given to Prophet وسلم, he looked first came to him Allah wants him to see every bad characteristic that can exist and that that will be coming the dress that human being will dress it because this bad characteristic who is going to dress it the creation human beings and the creation don't know because those who don't know are blind we are playing there. See the drop connection I was refreshing. Mm. So what happened? The creation, of course, pollution, what you, they call it today, pollution. Everything is polluted with bad characteristics. The one that has a mosque, imam or the priest who has a church, or the rabbi was a synagogue, or the Buddhist was a temple, or the Hindu who has a shrine. Everyone has to be to receive a kind of pollution from negative energy that's going around of these bad characteristics. No one is clean from it. Don't tell me that say uh, someone does not have, is a clean, no way. After we finish this series, we go into the series of bad characteristics that we counted 17 last time. Now we will count 105. People can count 10, 15, 20, bad characters. But, awliya Allah, they came up with 105 bad characteristics. There is 800 forbidden. So everyone is, is being polluted. So Prophet Wasallam, when he was being asked what is the meaning of the subduer, he looked from that heavenly power that Allah gave to him, he looked immediately at what is going to come wrong. You don't look at what is going to come good, because good is good. Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, we get the good. Look what you need to fix. You don't look what's already fixed. You don't need to count what already fixed. People today, oh, they say, oh, this one doesn't lie, this one doesn't do this, this one that is good. No, look at what he is doing bad, then fix that. Mm. Iblis, what he said, Satan, you made me to do the sin to God. Yeah. Wow. Sayyidina Adam, what he said, I, I did it, forgive me. Yeah. What is good coming from you, O oh God, from what is bad is coming from me. So look at what is 
going to be bad. So prophet represents the creation. So he looked immediately at the creation and looking at the bad characteristics and the sins that's going to come out from human beings. And even from animals. Look, animals, they eat each other. You think they are not going to be judged? Every animal is going to be judged in the day of judgment. So what do you think about human being then? Every animal is going to be judged. Why you ate this, or why you ate that, or why you did this, or why you did that. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say to them, you've been judged, you go finish, and they disappear. Then come a human being, come to me. Why are you going to answer? Huh? What you are going to answer? You have big sins? You committed big sins? Yes. yes. You committed small sins? Yes. yes. You committed everything? Yes. We all of say we have to say yes. yes. So if you fix this, then everything is clean. So what Prophet looked at? He looked at these sins that human beings are going to commit. And everything else that is going to commit from any creation that it's under him, that they are going to do in their lives, he was looking at one by one. Every individual he was able to see and what, how long he's going to live, what kind of sins he's going to commit, leave the good things aside. They are both good. He has to make sure that these are going to disappear. You know, today they want to put a building down, what they do? Explosion. Uh, before, if they put an explosion, it will uh, destroy other buildings. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. But today, with technology, it, the building it, it's, by itself it goes down doesn't harm the others. Yeah. So every individual has, has different characteristics. You cannot use the same explosion on one huge building, the same amount on a small building. Small building will, yeah. all this uh, explosion will, will go everywhere. You have to make sure that everyone, according to what it needs, this they have professional for them. They're contained. Contained. So it doesn't hit the other building. Yeah. So every one of us is like a building with a different structure. It needs a technology to bring it down. And what to bring down is the sins and the bad manners and the bad characters. So Prophet looked at that. And he said, Oh Allah, the meaning of the subduer that you asked me to me, uh, is the one is the one that will submer submerge will uh, no, no, when someone is swimming and drown, he drown, drown, is drown. the one that he can drown or make all Merge. plunge, sinking. sinking, he will make all this, uh, um, the meaning of subduer is the one that can bring all these sins bad manners, bad characteristics, destroy them completely in his, the ocean of his mercy. Mm. Mm. Means, Ya Rabbi, you are the one that can, with your oceans of mercy, can destroy all kabair and sagair. 
all big sins and small sins, all bad manners, all bad characters. You can destroy them and demolish them from any individual, from anyone that you have created, from jinn, ins, angels, although angels are protected, uh, animals, anything you, you Yarabi, you created, you can destroy that and demolish these bad characters and bad sins. Sagair wal kabair. No one gave that answer. How many books I read? I never read that. These are realities that are given to Awliya Allah. They can extract. Even a tree. You, you need some time in jungles if you go. You see a tree. And you see a small tree. Not too big. Strangling the big tree. And then you see the big tree dying. Also is going to be judged. Because there is life in it. The small, that tree is going to be asked why you have strangled the other tree and tried to kill it. Yeah. Don't think that anyone will pass from that. But Prophet gave the answer. Arab, with your mercy. With your mercy, you, your oceans of mercy can clean everything. So, to me, subduer is the one that demolish completely the bad sins, the sins, and destroy them in the oceans of mercy. Mm. This is one meaning, and we are not going to go to more of these meanings, then because then we will unable to understand it. And then he said, and the meaning of servant meaning of servant is the one that he is in need ila khazain rahmati he is in need for the treasures of his mercy abd human being is in need for god's mercy that's the meaning of abd means he is in need for something that's one thing. He is in need for everything. He needs health, he needs wealth, he needs good behaviors, moral excellence, uh, to be prog progressive, uh, progressive, to progress in his life, in his akhir, in his hereafter. He needs a lot of things. Means Abd, who is always in need, a needy person that needs to be dependent on his Lord, not independent. They, they tell you, be independent. Independent of what? You cannot be independent. You have to be dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is in need for the treasures of Allah's mercy without, means in every moment of his life, without any moment of heedlessness. And not one moment you can be heedless of remembering that you are in need for Allah's mercy. If you, for, uh, if you become heedless one time in your life, one moment in your life from Allah's mercy, that you are asking His mercy, means you didn't understand ma'na al-abd, you didn't reach this, the meaning or you didn't reach the status of servanthood. Today, who is uh, means who rich servanthood? No one. Everyone is uh, uh, heedless. Not one moment. Every moment. He said, "Bila ghafla walau lilahza." Without heedlessness, heedlessness, even for a moment. At that time, Allah called. He said, Oh, my beloved one, I'm making you a messenger. 
and I am sending you a messenger to all creation other than me. Any Masiwallah. So anything created, I'm going to send you there to them. I'm sending you to them in order that with subduer power you will be able with the manifestation of the of the name Al Qahar, I'm giving you authority from that manifestation of that name that you can destroy I'm giving you that authority to destroy evenness from every human being, from every individual, from any creation I created, that everyone become clean through the oceans of my mercy. And I'm sending you to them. And then Prophet ﷺ said, Oh my Lord, what you then, what you have created them. Who, to whom you are sending me. And we leave this for next time, inshallah. Wa min Allahi tawfiq, wa hurmatul fatiha.